Hello CCF family, I'm Luci Cruz Valdez and we are here today with Pastor Joby Soriano for Sunday Fast Track. Our first question is, how can Christians experience God's overflow in a time of trial and tragedy when they are in lack or in desperate need? Well, thank you so much, Luci. I really appreciate that question. By the way, Happy New Year to you. And so here's the answer. That's the reality that many are facing today. And my heart goes out to all of you, whether you've recently lost a loved one, if you've been stricken with a disease, COVID, lost your job, your home. I think of the families in, in the Southern region that have been affected by Odette. Let me just tell you, God is aware of your situation. And it doesn't mean that he loves you less. What you need to do is be aware of God's infinite ability and limitless resource from heaven. Don't be focused on your limited supply and lack. Remember when Jesus told his disciples to feed the 5,000? They focused on what they didn't have. But Jesus saw heaven's supply and used five loaves of bread and two fish and multiplied it to feed all 5,000 with an overflowing of having more than enough that there was extra take home pa. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 comes to mind. It says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Notice that this promise is based on God's sovereignty. It says all, not some or a few, all. It says your needs, not your wants or greeds. It is according to his riches, which is unlimited. And most of all, it is in Christ Jesus. Jesus himself is your hope. He is your security. He is your provider. And that's how God wants us to live. See God's infinite resources. It's been said, you never know God is all you need until God is all you have. And God, my friends, is more than enough. Beloved, don't face your situation. Face God. You know, I'm, I'm so led to pray for all of those of you who are here right now facing a situation like this. Let, let me pray for you. Oh, Lord God, I pray that you take care of all the individuals who are going through difficulties right now. Father, we acknowledge that you alone are the God of more than enough. You're the God of the overflow. I pray, Lord God, that you would lavish your children with their dire need as, as you have promised to be their Jehovah Jireh, our provider, we thank you even now in what you will do in their lives. We thank you, Lord God, for your promise of daily bread. Allow each of those in need to experience your unlimited resources so that they may glorify you and declare to others about your unfailing love and provisions. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Joby. Our next question is coming from a fellow believer. And his question is, I have been a Christian for many years. Why don't I experience God's overflow in my life? This is what's so sad today. Many Christians are living their lives on empty because they're living it out of their own strength, their own resources. And that simply means that they are not fully depending on Jesus. If you're so focused on your personal desires and selfish pleasures, you will not experience his overflow. Overflow is oftentimes connected with God's favor. God's favor is connected to our faithfulness. God is always faithful. The question is, are you? Are you faithfully connected with Jesus like a branch connects to the vine? If so, whatever the vine has to give, the branch will surely receive. When you don't put Jesus first each day, don't expect overflow in your life. Just as you eat three meals a day, you likewise need to seek God and pray to Him daily. Now, this is not about a, a set number of times. It's about being so connected with Him so that His character, His traits of goodness, love, joy, forgiveness, patience, etc. will fill you to overflow. Matthew 6, 33, 
Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be provided to you. Remember two words, stay connected. So many of people are connected to social media that they don't have time to connect with God. Do you need to fast from social media for a week? Can you? You should be so addicted to God that you have very little time for social media. They say, faith is like Wi-Fi. You can't see it, but it's the power that you need to connect to God. Thank you for your answer, Pastor Joby. And now for our last question. How will being filled to overflowing be a blessing to others in my life? How will we be a blessing to others if we overflow? Do you remember the story when Jesus told Peter and the fishermen in the boat to cast their net on the other side? They obeyed him and they caught so many fish, their nets started breaking. They needed to call for another boat to haul the overflow of fish. And then both boats began to sink because there were just too many fish. As God blessed Peter, all the other fishermen were blessed with the overflow. And God uses us to be his instrument of blessing so that we will overflow and be a blessing to others. One of the best ways that we can be a blessing to others is by simply leading them closer to God. The only reason that they will follow our lead is if they first see how God has changed us for the better. When they see how our love for God has resulted in our love for others, they will thirst for that love as well. For example, when husbands and wives share a God-centered marriage, that overflow will cause other couples to be blessed and they will be inspired to have that same intimacy with God in their marriage. When parents live with God's overflow, their children will experience God's fullness in their lives. Parents will not lose their temper. They'll be more patient, more kind-hearted, and more understanding with their children. And all of these godly traits will impact and influence their children to likewise embrace godliness. As an employer or employee of a company, when you live with God's overflow, the other employees and even customers will see a remarkable difference. And they'll see this difference through integrity, honesty, humility, and excellence in worth ethics. Because that is God's overflowing quality and standard for his children. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 16, let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works. There it is, God's overflow and glorify your father who is in heaven. When we walk in abundance of God's overflow, it will pour out into the lives of all the people around us. I hope and pray that that answers your question. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Joby, for answering our questions. And that's it for Sunday Fast Track. Goodbye and God bless.